the world is changing. Climate change has become a global threat. We must reduce our net carbon emissions to zero by the middle of this century to achieve climate neutrality. And we must do this together. Imagine our future homes, businesses, industries and entire sectors running on sustainable zero carbon hydrogen. An alternative fuel for a net zero future. Join us on a tour of a hydrogen ecosystem as we explore the benefits of the most abundant element in the universe. Sustainable power can be generated from many different sources. Onshore and offshore wind turbines, solar parks or hydroelectric plants generate power with zero carbon emissions. Water and renewable electricity are fed into electrolyzers. The output is oxygen and zero carbon hydrogen, which can be stored in tanks, pipelines or geological structures underground and transported to where it's needed to be turned back into electricity using fuel cells or gas power plants. Another way to produce hydrogen is through the reformation of natural gas. Hydrogen and carbon dioxide, which has the chemical symbol of CO2, are generated. The carbon dioxide can be safely captured and stored away, eventually resulting in carbon-neutral hydrogen. If biomethane is used in the reformation process alongside carbon capture, not only is it kept from entering the atmosphere as a greenhouse gas, it becomes carbon-negative hydrogen, basically reversing the effect of burning fossil fuels. Let's see how industry can utilize hydrogen. Today, industrial high heat applications like steel production or refinery processes emit high levels of carbon dioxide. One ton of steel produces 1.3 tons of carbon emissions. Zero carbon hydrogen can replace conventional energy sources in industries like steel production or refineries to reduce carbon dioxide emissions. Instead of traditional carbon emitting hydrogen, zero carbon hydrogen can be used as a process gas. Next, we take a close look at the chemical sector. Besides using zero-carbon hydrogen on-site for green chemicals, you can combine it with carbon dioxide to create methanol and subsequently synthetic fuels with negative carbon balance when capturing carbon dioxide directly from the air. Or you can produce ammonia from hydrogen and nitrogen it can be stored at normal pressure and temperature. Ammonia can be used as fertilizer or fuel for transport, such as shipping. And speaking of fuel, transport is responsible for 18% of global carbon emissions, of which 60% comes from the cars we drive. Imagine our trucks, buses and cars running on clean hydrogen and our trains and ships running on zero-carbon liquid hydrogen or green ammonia. Even our planes can run on liquid hydrogen or hydrogen-based synthetic fuels. And what about agriculture? Modern farming relies heavily on fertilizers and green ammonia is a carbon-neutral solution. Remote farms with poor grid connections can install renewable energy developments to produce hydrogen, as well as create additional hydrogen from biomethane generated from agricultural waste. This new revenue stream can help make farming more sustainable. The clean hydrogen can be used to run agricultural facilities, as well as equipment like tractors and harvesters. 
Finally, let's talk about something closer to home, our towns and cities. How can they go green? By running on sustainable and resilient distributed energy systems, with storage for hydrogen and electricity. Electrical power is largely generated from renewable sources, but they are intermittent and don't always match demand on our electricity grids. Flexible gas turbines and banks of fuel cells running on stored hydrogen can balance the grid when renewable power isn't generating sufficiently. A comprehensive and interconnected hydrogen ecosystem is essential to reaching our carbon reduction goals and restoring climate neutrality.